Thank you very much for joining. My name is Darren Joseph from HGJ.tat. We're a team that seeks to demystify the sometimes confusing world of cross-border taxation. And today we have the honor and privilege of joining us, Claudia Vasconcelos. Please introduce yourself. Well, uh, thank you, Darren, first of all, for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you for the opportunity to discuss and explain the advantages of investing and living in Madeira. This is a topic that is very dear to me. I'm born and raised uh, on the islands. Uh, I am currently head of business development of NUCO. We are a one-stop shop for investors and expatriates in Portugal. We're headquartered in Madeira. Um, and most of my career has been dedicated and devoted to the attraction of foreign investments to Portugal specifically to Madeira or mostly in particular to Madeira. Uh, I've actually worked for about 18 years in the entity that was that is still today the government entity in charge of promoting the International Business Center of Madeira. And for the past 10 years, I joined NUCO and we are actively promoting and assisting investors and expats um, relocating in Portugal and particularly in Madeira. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, having said all of that, Madeira is not perfect. No jurisdiction is perfect, you know. And what what would you say are the challenges of doing this? I think you hinted at some of them in the beginning, but uh, I think what kind of popped out to me as you're speaking would be the the relatively shallow talent pool, right? Because it's a small island, two hundred fifty thousand people, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it reminds me of some of the Caribbean islands, which are relatively small as well. So. You know, that, that, that shallow talent pool. Also, the idea that these incentives need to be renegotiated periodically. Mm -hmm. So that, that seems to be present a tiny bit of uncertainty. What else would you say are the challenges? Well, I understand what you're meant. First, in terms of um, limitation of the benefits, yeah. uh, it is a disadvantage on the one hand, but it's also an advantage. You know yep. when it will end and it's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since 87, when it was, when the 89 particularly, when the first regime was mm -hmm. uh, started to be implemented, it yep. has been, the renewals have been almost automatic. The client yep. doesn't feel that. But mm -hmm. the, the good news is that you, once you're in the system, you're locked mm -hmm. until the end of the, the until the end of the uh, benefit mm -hmm. the regime. So mm -hmm. in this case, you're guaranteed if you uh, come in now, you will mm -hmm. be guaranteed until 2027. But we right. are already mm -hmm. negotiating. So the negotiations for the new package, the new regime, mm -hmm. are uh, done <clears throat> well in advance. Uh, mm -hmm. This the fourth regime will end now for new entrants, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and we should have an approval soon. We hope mm -hmm. um, for the fifth <laughs> regime, and mm -hmm. this will we expect. And the the buzz that we have from the authorities is that it will be extended mm -hmm. for to twenty three to thirty three thirty four. So yeah, you know yeah. well in advance, mm -hmm. and the investors mm -hmm. can plan if the regime doesn't suit you, you if you mm -hmm. don't agree with the new rules or mm -hmm. if if you don't want to go on you can simply mm -hmm. relocate the company to another jurisdiction mm -hmm. that's the beauty also of being an eu mm -hmm. company uh, mm -hmm. you can simply relocate or liquidate the company mm -hmm. um, but you have time to plan mm -hmm. So that's good, gotcha. I believe. Mm -hmm. the, the other limitation, I agree mm -hmm. with you, and it's mm -hmm. something that results from what we've mentioned, the small mm -hmm. island economy. But mm -hmm. I must say that in, uh, I, I didn't expect, I must mm -hmm. say, 20 year, we're 25 years ago to mm -hmm. be as easy as it is today. Because you mm -hmm. know you're an expat in Portugal, uh, mm -hmm. and in especially in recent mm -hmm. years, the the number of expats that want mm -hmm. to come to Portugal and want to live in Madeira is increasing. Mm -hmm. um, and so nowadays, it's uh, my, what my clients say is that it's a lot easier uh, mm -hmm. and interesting to attract uh, either local. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, employees or to bring employees the the fact that the market is limited 
also mm -hmm. brings an advantage to those that have mm -hmm. uh, that want to invest and create substance because it's um, for the local employees it's much more interesting to work for mm -hmm. a foreign company uh, mm -hmm. you have usually different methods um, the, uh, the international exposure um, constant training so you mm -hmm. have the capacity to grow uh, mm -hmm. and progress in a much more interesting uh, scale than mm -hmm. working for a local small limited company so mm -hmm. this means that um, with the lo local university in Madeira has mm -hmm. There's a, 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 two, a pool of talent mm -hmm. that can mm -hmm. be um, that is accumulated. In the past, they used they would go away. Nowadays, mm -hmm. with companies uh, in different areas, they prefer to stay. Uh, mm -hmm. A local mm -hmm. Madeira will always prefer to stay. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, one thing that I uh, I've also witnessed in the past, and that's mm -hmm. good for local for employees, is that, for instance, we had uh, a company that's employed many people uh, about 30 or 50 employees at mm -hmm. a certain stage but mm -hmm. for due to internal restructuring they moved the company uh, outside of Madeira and they mm -hmm. took many employees with them so mm -hmm. for they were so good <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that they wanted to take them uh, with mm -hmm. them most of them have come back in the mm -hmm. meantime, because okay. the top priority for yeah. us is being in Madeira. But this shows that mm -hmm. the investors are happy with the quality mm -hmm. of the, um, the talent that they find. I certainly don't think it's mm -hmm. easy if you're planning for a, a 100 or 200 a call center, yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But for smaller projects, uh, highly qualified projects, high value mm -hmm. added pro projects, Madeira mm -hmm. is definitely an excellent option. Mm -hmm. And when I was actually, when I was driving, uh, I think back to the airport, I noticed that the university itself was, there's a huge construction project. It looks as if it's expanding, like the yes. building site looked massive. So, yes. yeah, so it's yes, interesting point that you made. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another thing that mm -hmm. was an, a limitation in the past, and I think it's always relevant if you have an, mm -hmm. an international activity, is the, mm -hmm. the distance and mm -hmm. the, the, the travel. I mean, we're, yeah. as I mentioned in the beginning, so the logistics mm -hmm. the tra of traveling is can have an impact. But even mm -hmm. this has improved a lot uh, in the past mm -hmm. years. We have low-cost companies in addition to the standard um, airline companies and mm -hmm. regular daily flights very frequent flights to lisbon mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to about eight flights a day but mm -hmm. also to many other eu cities there are mm -hmm. direct flights to madrid and to, london, to the uk so. as well and not just london yes. but other cities within the uk yes. and i believe to the us as well am i correct the yeah. us as well yes yeah. new york so far but we're starting with mm -hmm. boston i think mm -hmm. canada as well toronto so mm -hmm. it's uh, improving and uh, i think that should not be a one mm -hmm. a, a limitation uh, nowadays okay so if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.